And uh, Joseph, uh, going to be some challenges because uh, we're looking at snow at least at past level throughout the week. Yes, that is true. Yeah, if you've ever been on I-84 in that section right there, you just know how dangerous that spot can be. And there's a lot of locations across the state where you get some snow out there and some ice, and it makes it pretty tough to travel. So we'll keep you informed as we go through this week. Check out the mountain, though. Here's Mount Hood Meadows. It is a snowy scene up there. Beautiful shot. I just love watching the people just, you know, from this vantage point, everyone just looks like they're going so slow, but you know when they're up there, they're just really speeding on down. Yeah, last 24 hours, about a foot of snow coming out of Mount Hood Meadows. Timberline, seven inches. The base, you can see that total there, and that's climbing. But what is interesting is you could tell where the moisture was set up. is mainly just the northern Cascades because Bachelor didn't pick up any fresh snowfall over the last 24 hours because that moisture didn't quite make it to the south. Uh, there's Timberline. You can see the snow scene up there. Temperatures also at 30 degrees and some folks. It's pretty active right now at this time. Weather alerts, still some winter storm warnings out there. And we were just talking about the east side of the state out towards uh, Cabbage Hill there on I-84. Yeah, winter storm warning there. Expecting more snowfall, so I-84 is still going to be tough to travel, not only there, but we're also concerned right around the Dalles, extending over towards about Arlington, and then right around Hood River up towards Parkdale as we go into tonight and for tomorrow. I'll zoom on in. You can see the winter storm warning. This is till 4 p.m. tomorrow. This does include Hood River extending through the Dalles and to the east there. About three to six inches of snowfall. You know, the higher you go up, definitely more snow, but even down to the surface towards I-84, so it's going to be really tough to do some traveling on I-84 heading into the start of the week. So if you have that in your commute or you just know you have to hit that part of the state, you're really going to want to think twice, maybe pausing for the day and maybe think about picking up that travel a little bit later. All right, 38 degrees coming out of the Dallas right now. This is our Columbia Gorge Community College camera. The wind is calm. And we're just going to see that snow coming down here shortly. Snow total forecast in that whole section of the state could range anywhere from about a foot of snow up towards Government Camp, extending through Parkdale, or as I mentioned, about three to six inches there for some of those locations that were in that winter storm warning. That does include areas to the north in Washington and extending over towards Pendleton. Portland, though, no snow. We got our snow out of our system, at least for now. We'll have to watch what happens maybe a little bit later next week, probably after Christmas. That's my first little tease there. All right, southerly flow coming in, plenty of moisture still around, and you can see that that snowfall is starting to pick up and increase to the east there. There's the rain as we look at it on the radar. We'll zoom on in some very heavy rain through areas of Marion County extending to the west at this time, and it will continue to march to the north as we go into tonight. Flood advisory in place till 830. I would expect that maybe to continue a little bit, uh, maybe into Monday. Flood watch until Monday morning, though, but that does include those sections down to the south just for some minor flooding and excessive rainfall. Still very active through the overnight hours, as I mentioned. Yeah, it looks like we have some dry time maybe on Tuesday morning, but then we have another round late Tuesday night, which will stack onto Wednesday, making it still very wet with snowfall there for the mountains, which means the traveling through the Major passes will probably be snowy. All right, 47 degrees for our first official day of winter, but sorry, it felt like winter for some time. 44 degrees on Thursday, and then there's Christmas Eve and Christmas there. Temperatures in the 40s, and we'll have to see if we get some rain and some snow mixing in some locations. So maybe a white Christmas? You never know. It's maybe. It's a maybe. We'll, we'll watch it. All right.